Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a night clean and decorate with me video. I was able to get to my storage unit to find some of my Christmas decorations. So I wanted to get some cleaning and decorating done in my kitchen. So that's what I'm doing in today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Amanda and this is my channel, Amanda's Daily Home, where I love to share motivation for all things homemaking, like cooking, cleaning, organizing, DIY, and decorating. I am a busy hockey mom, so if this kind of content interests you, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can come along with me in my videos. If you're returning, I'm so happy you're back. Let's get started. So first thing I'm doing is unloading my vehicle. We went to the storage unit. I finally was able to cut the locks off because I could not find the key. So there's so many bins in there. One load that we have in this vehicle is like barely putting a dent in it all. So we grabbed whatever Christmas bins that we could find. And as you can see, I'm multitasking I'm on the phone while I'm unloading the vehicle. So I got that vehicle all unloaded and I actually was able to clean out that vehicle on that evening because we were heading out of town the next day. But um, I'm just jumping forward to inside the house. It's getting late and I just wanted to get some cleaning done before bed because it's been a busy day. So what I'm actually doing is opening up my brand new Aspiron canister vacuum. You guys, I am going to say this is probably the most powerful suction vacuum I have ever used. I was so surprised. I'm just going to say that right off the hop. So here I'm just unboxing it. I have the canister piece. We've got the hose. Really, I didn't even need the instructions. I was able to just put the vacuum together without referring to the instructions. But it's got all of these different nozzles and heads for the vacuum so you got the hard floor it transitions from hard floor to carpet this one i like to use for furniture like chairs and beds and stuff like that and then it has all these other little um, fittings that you can put at the end of the hose so you can reach into basically anywhere this vacuum is going to be fantastic for cleaning vehicles it comes with an extra filter as well and then there's also the instructions in case you wanted to refer to it for any reason but like i said it's super easy to use So this is the bagless canister. It's so easy to pop off and then just open up the lid and empty it. It's got an adjustment for how much suction power you want. And then right back here is where you will find the filter if you need to change it out. With his humble lack and everlasting ego, someone hurt your feet. All right, so I am just going to connect the pieces that I want to use because my front entrance has a whole bunch of sand in it. This is a really bad time of year for tracking sand into the house because there is barely enough snow and we still have a sand pile basically outside of our front door at the bottom of the steps because we don't have our landscaping done yet. So whenever this, it snows a little bit, it like all sticks, the sand sticks to the snow and then it tracks in the house so I keep telling the kids just to take your shoes off outside on the porch until we get a nice big front entrance area rug in here which I'm intending on doing um, like I said before in previous videos I kind of want to do a little bit of like a makeover room by room but like our time has been really really short with the hockey season in full swing so anyways I'm gonna get started with vacuuming this front entrance area it is having no trouble picking up all of the sand and little pebbles it's coming right up so this is going to be perfect because once all of those little sand pebbles are gone i will be able to wash the floors tomorrow you had me at a low because where you go is where i go I don't need nobody else. So again, the features are the incredible suction power, the triple stage filtration system it has, five versatile brushes, the 3.7 quart large dust cup that is actually washable, and it has the extendable wand, an automatic cord rewind, and it is actually super lightweight. I forgot to mention that earlier. It was so easy to just pick it up and carry it around. All right, so I switched out the nozzle to this little 
I don't know what you'd call it, but it's much more skinny and pointy. That's what I usually use to get into crevices and hard to reach places. But check out the suction on the silverware, you guys. It was like sucking it up with no problem. If it was big enough, the silverware would go right into the canister. And now I just went over to the fireplace screen. There is a lot of dust on here that needed to be vacuumed off. And this tool is a perfect tool just to do that. So I just put it on high suction power and just went over the whole screen with it. And all of this dust came right off, no problem. So I am going to make sure I link this down below in the description box for you guys. Make sure you check it out because it is a great price for a fantastic vacuum. And I even have a more amazing deal for you guys. I have a 30% off coupon code for you. It is code Amanda and that is also down below in the description box. All right, now that I've got the sand off of the floors, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox my Christmas lights that I got from the dollar store. These ones, I actually did not realize that they were like the waterfall lights. I thought they were just a plain string of lights. These are actually really neat. And I, at first, when I realized I made a mistake in buying them, I was kind of annoyed. But then when I kind of found a spot for them, they look really nice right here and now i would like to get another string of these for the other side of the door so it almost looks like little like icicles hanging down from the doorway it looks so pretty so i'm gonna have to get one more for the other door what i ended up doing was just putting the battery pack up on top i still have to wipe down this area up above the window i didn't realize how dusty it was up there but that'll have to be for a different video because at this point in the evening it was getting late and i just wanted to get a little bit of decorating done before i went to bed so actually i should probably just wait until i clean it until we put the trim around the door so i just got these batteries from the dollar store gonna put that up there it just added a little bit of a magical touch to the kitchen so that's kind of what I'm doing because I bought a few different packs of lights at the dollar store earlier today so I just found some places in the kitchen and in my decor that I wanted to add these little lights and they are LED lights and they operate on batteries so they actually last a lot longer than I thought And these lights are the same lights that I used in my DIY Christmas yarn trees a couple of videos ago. I really like these lights because they're bendable and they hold their shape. So I was able to manipulate it to fit into the sign and kind of like hang on to the sign without falling all over the place. So that was really nice. I didn't really need to use any tape or anything like that. For this sign, I thought the perfect spot for it would be above my cooktop. I think it's going to look re really pretty there, but the only thing I was worried about was using the command hook. I put it on my brand new cabinets. I really hope it doesn't do any damage to it. I took a chance and I think it'll be okay, but you never know. In the back of my mind, I kept wondering and just kind of hoping it doesn't peel any paint off of it. It's magical when you are close, so I'm gold, I'm golden All 
Okay, I think that looks super cute. This spot is gonna be perfect for that. And now I'm gonna install that command hook. First, I'm gonna go ahead and measure with a tape measure to make sure I have center before I put the hook on. I know Jeff would probably have a heart attack if I just kind of eyeballed it because he's so particular about measuring things and making sure things are level. So I just went ahead and found center and then eyeballed where it was going to be up above and it looks great. I love how this looks here. The little lights just adds a nice little magical touch into the kitchen. When I turn the lights off in the evening, it just glistens and it looks so pretty in here. I would also like to add a pretty little bow just to cover the command hook too. Moo is quite curious about the lights, so he was just kind of checking it out. Now I'm gonna head over to the corner of the kitchen where I have the corner sink with the windows. I put this pretty little arrangement here in my last video and I just thought it would be really pretty to add some cute little white fairy lights, I guess you would call these. They're not twinkly lights because they don't really twinkle, but they're super tiny, so I guess you could say they're fairy lights. But it also looked so pretty on here. So I'm just kind of going wild with all the lights here. You guys, I absolutely love how this turned out. The arrangement is so pretty and the glow from the lights in the evening, it just adds a magical touch to the kitchen for sure. Okay guys, it is like 2 a.m. and I'm still awake. Sometimes I just like to stay up a little bit later. Actually, this is a lot later than everybody else because it's my, it's my only time to have some peace and quiet so I can actually think to myself and get some things done. Our daytimes are always so busy. So I'm just enjoying myself in the kitchen right now. So this little teapot, it's like a little Christmas teapot with the little mouse house on the inside is so cute. I actually picked that up from a thrift shop a few years ago and it was only $4.99. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I loved the idea of animals living in little cute houses like tree stumps or tree houses and stuff like that. I used to love reading Berenstein Bear books and this is kind of the same kind of thing. It's got the little mice and they're in a little teapot and they have their little fireplace in there. It's just a cute setup and it's got a little, I don't know what you call it, like a little winding knob at the bottom and then it plays a song and it's just so cute. And I love how the little light, it lights up the fireplace in the little mouse house. So that's super cute too. But anyways, I almost didn't even realize that the teapot house lost its handle luckily I went over to the bin where I pulled this out from and it was sitting in there so I pulled out my glue gun and got that ready to do a quick repair on the handle for this cute teapot so I thought that 
setting it on this cutting board over here would be a nice little display for now. It's in the kitchen because it's a teapot and I just thought it would be a cute addition to the kitchen. All right, so while the glue gun is warming up, I do have to unload the dishwasher. I wanna get that all unloaded and cleaned up. And the kitchen is not that messy at all. I just had a couple of counters to wipe and stuff like that. So while we are doing the decorating, I also wanna make sure it's nice and clean in here. Pick all the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss on my nose It feels so magical, yeah look Where we were small Someone's been here and there Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night. I know you may suffer like, but together we're alright. You know we're ready for Christmas. Can't wait to hit the cold when the sleigh bells call. Now that the dishwasher is unloaded, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down the kitchen island and wipe that down. So I didn't end up loading the dishwasher on this evening actually because it was really late. I was tired and I didn't wanna have to disturb the whole house with cleaning dishes. So I just kind of gave up there. But I was able to get the glue on the handle and it was good as new, it looked great. So that at least got done i really would love to find more pieces of decor like this i'm surprised i only paid 4.99 for it because there was really nothing wrong with it before i broke the handle of course but i think it's just a cute addition to my kitchen decor so now that i've got those little touches of christmas happening in my kitchen i am just going to wipe down the kitchen island I was thinking to myself what else I wanted to do in this kitchen for Christmas decorations. I would really like to get a garland with some lights around my windows. That garland is going to be my storage unit. So I'm going to make another trip there this week and see if I can dig it out. I have so many more decorations in there. But doesn't this look so pretty just the way it is? I really would like to add those last few pieces. So make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And that way you can follow along and see what else I do in those videos. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.